The most rewarding path is hard, dangerous, and narrow. How did I learn about that? That was a lesson I had today. I'm not going to get too deep into it. But basically, I almost fell off. I'm back on it right now, um, and that's kind of part of what you know, I'm going to discuss about. But um, why is it hard? You know, you think you go to a mountain, it is a thousand feet tall. I think I used this analogy before. It, you get to the top, it's beautiful. You love it. You go into a cave, you're in this blunking, you jump down, you're following this hard path, you're climbing. You're crawling, but once you get in there, you see the beautiful slagmites, stalactites. I don't know what you call those things, but those things. And it's almost a serene experience. You're someplace nobody has gone before. Now, why is it dangerous? Well, these paths, so you can, the cave can collapse on you. You can trip and fall. You can break an ankle and nobody's there to save you and you just get eaten by wolves <laughs> and all that shit results in your death and all that shit is dangerous and narrow you're not gonna fit a semi truck down any of these places any place a semi can go it's probably not any place worth visiting i guess unless it's like a mountain top walmart that has the most beautiful view, like I hear these ones in Kentucky that are just up on top of mountains, and they're just like, people camp there, because they're so amazing, but it's still a fucking Walmart, it's still full of shit, it's still shitty people, it's still a goddamn parking lot, yes, the semi can go there, but it's all artificial, it's not real, so, how did that relate to today, I was... You know, it was a very stressful day. Some things in my relationship, some things in my business, some things just in my journey to gain better habits, just kind of all, well, and then environmental concerns as well. Um, heading toward winter solstice is dark, it's cold. It's something that isn't necessarily the most conducive to enjoyment. So it's almost as if the conscious effort has to be made in order to stay on this path, you know, being hard, being dangerous, and being narrow. Um, first of all, the path is hardly able to see. What is the path? Where does it go? And that's kind of part of the hard and dangerous part because you can't find it. Um, I think I'm on the right path. I'm following a path, but I'm not sure if it's the right one. Um, but it's still dangerous and narrow nonetheless. And what I'm doing and what, how, what I suggest somebody does is just get back on there. Uh, you know, it's a whole collapse in about a few hours. Um, you know, unhealthy eating, unhealthy habits, on how, you know, um, things like that. I will work and still work now processing those, and I'll probably talk about it later. I did a journal session. Um, but once you fall off this path that you're on, whatever it is, it could be business, entrepreneurship, it could be church, it could be relationships childbearing, you know, teaching, whatever your path may be, the most rewarding version of that path is always hard, dangerous, and narrow. And you're going to stumble. You're going to almost fall off. Hell, you may fall off. Um, I'm fortunate enough to not have a complete collapse experience of anything in my life that I can think of. Um, there's probably been areas of my life that have collapsed and I've gotten back on but not a total collapse. The ground has never really fallen off my feet. I've always been very sure to keep something there, whether it's a shack, whether it's a freaking rickety bridge. Something's there. I'm not. I haven't fallen yet. Ooh, I better not use those words yet because eh, I don't know. Who who knows? 
Um, but you can stumble off. You can even fall off. But the thing is, is to not worry about it. The thing is to just get back on and then push forward. And one thing I've learned and one thing you always learn, let's say you're driving down the street, anything you do, if something dangerous happens, something startling, something out of the ordinary, something that shoots and gains your interest and makes you scared, then of course you will be more attentive. You will be more on edge to say more um, alert to these pitfalls that you may see. And that's what needs to happen. And that is what falling off the path means. And that is the most useful, in my opinion, way to get back on. So, yeah, the path to success is hard, dangerous, and narrow. But it's there. And you're going to fall off it. All you need to do is just get back on.